While the science behind why certain colors affect us the way they do emotionally is quite complicated, it is for certain that humans will have instinctive reactions when being exposed to specific colors. Filmmakers have been using this to their advantage ever since the beginning of film history, which means that colors in movies are often taken into specific consideration to ensure that the viewer is put into a certain emotional state. Early silent films like George Melies' A Trip to the Moon went through the tedious process of being hand-colored. Each frame had to be tinted and painted, sometimes with the use of a stencil. Later on, the technicolor process was created. By using several strips of film, each with its own color and then superimposing them on top of each other, the filmmaker was able to reach the colorful, vibrant results seen in movies such as The Wizard of Oz and the extravagant Hollywood musicals of the 40s and the 50s. With the invention of digital coloring and its first use in O Brother Where Art Thou, the Coen brothers were able to change a green summery landscape into the sepia-toned environment we know so well from the movie. With this invention, filmmakers now have the possibility to really turn color into its own character in the story. So how is color used in movies? Color in movies can be seen to represent certain concepts. Red can be used both to represent aggression, violence, and anger, as well as love and passion. Whilst the colors such as purple can be seen representing the mystical, or sometimes death and delusion. Color can in this way be used to help tell the story and plays a huge part in making sure you will feel the way the film intends you to. Color can be used to represent a certain character, like in Vertigo where Scotty's mysterious love interest, Madeline, is represented by the color green. Throughout the movie's climax, the color becomes more pervasive and signifies Scotty's obsession with Madeline growing stronger. In the movie blue is the warmest color, it is quite the opposite. Although the color blue is featured everywhere throughout the story, it starts off as intense and grows progressively more pale as the love between the characters fade. Similarly, colors can be used to make certain features stand out. Maybe you have already noticed that most movies utilize the famous orange and teal color scheme. Why? For one, it is believed to make the actors stand out better. If you have locked down the gorgeous Scarlett Johansson for your film, you would want to be sure that her face is the thing that people notice, right? Most skin colors are said to fall within the orange shade on the color wheel, and upon closer examination you can see that blue is placed opposite orange, which means that these two colors complement each other. While a color such as red holds different meanings depending on your cultural standpoint, orange and teal do not, making them a better hit all across the globe. Color can also alert the viewer on where important clues can be found in a frame, or send out warning signs, like in Godfather where the color orange is closely followed by death. Any color will feature three main components, hue, saturation, and value. Hue is the actual color, in this case for example orange, purple, or blue. Saturation tells you how intense that color is. The color can be strong and vibrant or faded and watered down. Then we have the value. A lower value means that the shade is darker than, for example, the same color with a higher value. The filmmaker can play with these components to change the look and feel of his film. In Wes Anderson's movies, the color palette has a lower saturation, resulting in a pastel look that contributes to the quirky universes we are so familiar with in his stories. While certain filmmakers are known for using colors that reappear throughout all of their work, like Pedro Almodovar, who often uses intense shades of blue and red. But what happens when a movie does something unexpected? Watch our next video to find out when we take a closer look at one movie that deviates from the norm. Miss Sommar, a Technicolor horror film. See you then!